Cool, we're ready. Um, so we're just going to talk about some of the games coming up in the quarterfinals tomorrow. First up is Virtus Pro and Astralis with two stand-ins. Um, doesn't that tip it in the favor of VP? Yeah, I mean, what's funny is, even when Astralis had their full-time lineup, mm -hmm. this was another team along with NIP, where I actually feel like, if, funnily enough, if Astralis goes against like a Na'Vi or a Fnatic, they can just win that straight up. When they go against VP and NIP, those are the two teams who are like, right, put on the hard hat, we'll just grind and wait for you to choke, and it always <laughs> happens, right? So it was always a great game when they played Virtus Pro, but that was the real Astralis. I mean, come on, man, they don't have Kirby, Dupree's out, that's a best signature player. I don't, I don't think what happened today is possible because they're not playing Dean with us again. Mm -hmm. I just wonder because like today we saw the Astralis, I, 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 the, the question that I got watching them was all of a sudden like, wait a second, this is how Astralis could be in a way because they're not like giving a fuck, right? It doesn't feel sure. like that, that, that choke mechanism is there. Yeah. They were going aggressive, they were playing like to control the map, they weren't yeah. just like getting that lockdown stage, right? Where they always seem to hit that point in the map where then they just start playing passive yeah. and waiting, right? So I wonder if they go into it tomorrow, they have nothing to lose. They're gonna have zero expectations of themselves. They're just like, we made it to Legends. Now let's see how far we can go, if that's gonna be enough to like unlock it, right? Yeah, but the problem is that still doesn't counteract like Zonic having 50 ADR or having to basically <laughs> be like a bank of Zonic who just buys guns for people and then just goes, oh, I'll have armor if you, would you drop that, sir? Then you, you still are playing five players who can all be pretty good on the other. I mean, remember Taz was dominating in that game they had against Gambit. True, yeah, that's so right. I think VP, as bad as they've looked over the last few months, I think we can give them a best of three over Astralis. Two, two maps or three maps? Probably two, to be honest, because think about it, what's the one map Astralis has been going to? I mean, they've actually been going to Overpass. Mm. Yeah. So, and That'd today, be my guess and today they picked Cash, I think. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, okay, maybe they could pick Cash against us, Virtus Pro. Even then, probably not, but if they pick Overpass, I think Virtus Pro is going to get them on that for sure. Alright, so let's, just leave, so coordination let's just there. leave it at that and then move on to SK and Flipside as the second game. Um, is there any possible world in which Flipside would even touch SK in this game? No. No, no. I think that's one of the, probably one of the more clear-cut games that we could possibly have this entire tournament long, is that... Um, NIP flip side, that's what you had to worry about, was like the two slow, tactical, measured styles clashing and then NIP just not having enough firepower to carry it through. For some, whatever reason today, it seemed like they just weren't able to have the same impact. I would have said flip side shouldn't have touched NIP either, but, but I would just... Well, no, no, no remember, just remember yesterday I was saying, freaking, I thought the flip side still... So here's the thing chance. though, people were, people were actually right when they said today that what happened was flip side counted Nip. Yeah. Like they found the way to play against Nip Snot and then Nip didn't have a plan B. The difference is, everyone in the world has studied the SK guys. No one knows how to count them. Na'Vi comes close because they just play the same style. Fnatic does miracle rounds. These aren't counters. This is just playing Counter-Strike against them. So my problem with the, the guys from Flipside is like, I actually already thought, believe it or not, when NIP won Dream at Malmo, it was such a close margin. I was like, if anything, Na'Vi played like the opposite style that you should against an IP They didn't do any of the things that would counter them. They played into their hands. They did all those force buys. So I thought, yeah, you put, these guys against teams that love to force by all the time and play stupidly, mm. they're going to win. The problem is, how's Flip, how's Flipside going to play against SK's system? Like, they're so good when they get a man advantage. True. So many maps they're good on. It's also there's like no Super. nothing to read there because even Fallen doesn't call anything at the beginning of the round. It's nothing but loose play into a mid round call. Like there's no strat for Blade to try and counter strat or anything like that. Like right, this is their tendency. It's like actually. They're literally just running out onto the map looking for fights, and then they'll play off of whatever comes to them. So I think that SK, it's like it, even trying to find a way for Flipside to get into it, I don't really see it. I think that SK just counters them all front. And I've seen too many games, right, where the actual X Factor, believe it or not, for Flipside isn't world edit. He can have good games. It is Mark Love, but the problem, the reason why he's the Mark, yeah, here's the problem. The reason he's the X Factor is because he so rarely ever does it. No. So the times, that, <laughs> no. times that he has the good game, they can win and they can look very good like that, where he had great ADR stats. Unfortunately, most of the times, the reason why Flipside is firmly tier two is because he can't do that, unfortunately. He doesn't play that star style, and, and they are just left with, like, we'll get it. If you drop 40 kills, maybe we could win a map. So they sa they've saved him for SK, that's what I'm hearing you say. What do you Moving think? on to Na'Vi and well, Liquid. What do you think, Anders? What do you think? No, I, I love my club, but I, I don't see them being able to touch SK. I think they're losing two maps. Right. Um, Some would say SK soon will be in a league of their own. <laughs> they don't need other leagues. Yeah. Or odds. Or money. <laughs> or air. <laughs> We're gonna make their own planet. <laughs> that, uh, I, I just can't. I can't go anywhere with that. I'm gonna leave that. Uh, Navi and Liquid. Um, yeah. On paper, sounds interesting. Would it be or, or Navi 
destined for another semifinals. I, I, I actually have something that I would like to put out there. It's just like, apparently Liquid, this was the matchup that they wanted. It's easy to according say to that. Them. <laughs> no, but according okay, to them, yeah. according to them, going to this and going into the playoffs, they're like, out of all the teams we could have faced, Navi were the ones that we wanted. Navi, were, we feel like we match up good against them on okay. maps. We feel like we match up good against them. Famous like, last words. <laughs> so that's what I wonder. You know, it's just like famous yeah. last words, or that's like, that's some of that shit of like there? that's some of that like bigger ears, <laughs> no, the harder they are. Ah, yeah. Easy they fall. Whatever that like, shit is, like, yeah, right, mate. Then just wrecks you, Eddie. Like, oh, yeah, big people tend to punch you. I didn't know they. <laughs> so I don't know what that one. It's like careful what you wish for. Do I mean what I'm wondering in this match, okay. right? Um, okay. So, so Liquid, they they they've certainly got some some interesting. I mean, I think Nigel's yeah. been playing well. Uh, simple when he goes off, it's all it's all good fun. Sure. But I I see no way in which they can counter sort of the depth of Star Rates in this in this. Like he will, I think he will have read everything that they could possibly do. Already. The only chance Liquid has is if Simple goes outside his hotel room tonight and he goes to the swamps and he finds Volodya because he's a mythical creature, okay? <laughs> and he says, Volodya, in, in Russian, of course, tell me the secrets to beating Navi. Now, Volodya might know, but the problem is, Volodya's very loyal to Zeus, so I don't see it happening, so. Unless oh, he can crack that code, it's sort of a never-ending story to Narnia tale. Don't see it happening, mate, it's the only chance. Does he have to go on, like, several trials to prove himself? Before uh, he... Some would say he has already in his career. <laughs> he hasn't always succeeded, you know? I mean, just not being an asshole for five minutes would be a pretty good success, you know? Didn't I'll, he say you I'd give him a nice five-year guy? veteran. Yeah, this is why it's like I spit that real shit, you know. He knows we've got something going on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. He's gonna get his ass beat tomorrow though. <laughs> now he's gonna be like, This is why you will never play this. Listen, you've got a nice fine piece of American ass there, tits <laughs> all implanted, fake blonde hair, eyelashes, but you know what? This is real Russian shit. Actually we're from the Ukraine. <laughs> Russian shit. So this is how it goes. So Gambit and yeah. Fnatic yeah, yeah, are Fnatic. also gonna be playing at the end of the day. Right, just um, know me. <laughs> All right, yeah, I, 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 I thought that was obvious. I think okay. that's clear now. Uh, Gambit and Fnatic. Um, kind of shocking that Gambit are even here. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Is there any any good argument you can make that we could have a similar situation between Gambit and Fnatic as the one that happened between Nip and Flipside? Um, I mean, I don't really see how, especially not over a best of three. No, best of one maybe. I think, here's the thing, it wouldn't be impossible for Gambit to win a map, but the problem is you think like, what does Gambit want to play? Cash, Train, Cobble, it's so, okay, if Fnatic leaves training, I mean they did play against G2, maybe there's chances there, that also tends to be one of the miracle maps though for Fnatic, Cobble, it's hard to see anyone beating Fnatic on Cobble, Cash, I mean we've already seen what they do on the CT side there, I, I don't think there's a lot of hope in that one unfortunately. There's a lot of... Uh... What what are what what are the, let's say the, the the best sort of the maybe the best players on this team? Uh, on, so Hooch, uh, Adran, and, and Mo. Let's Hooch say. is terrible, mate. Well, who would you put instead? Would be space or Hooch is I think the worst player on the team. Though. That's the thing. It's just like when you look at like this is one of those classics. You look at the depth of the firepower they Gambit have. It's just they, they can't go toe to toe with Dennis, Flusher, JW, I, Sims. Here's you know. the problem. Okay, the main positives for the Gambit guys. I think the best player right now is Adran. He's quite yeah, well-rounded, yeah, he with clutches, agree. he uses his experience again. Stats, stats say the same story. Right? The problem I have is that everyone ha talks up Mo, right? Yeah. Because he's the guy where he doesn't get a lot of love because he's just a, a CIS player, okay? So he's not having big, big tournaments in the international play. But that's actually the problem. I feel like he's stuck at that like world edit level where you play sick against tier two and you play well in the odd map elsewhere, but you, there is, there's a reason you've never taken the step up to that next like tier one status of AWP, you know? So unfortunately, yeah, the, the firepower is kind of limited. I mean, you really do end up going back to like, there's Dosia. We know what Dosia does. He's a very known quantity. You know, he's not going to be as so, so great nowadays. So, so right, where so, do they go? So my my point was going to be even if you took the, the three best players whoever yeah. they are and you say at the start of the line they all play their best game. Yeah. Even then, would they would they possibly be fanatic? It doesn't. You can seem win like, a map. Sure. Yeah, you, you, it's not ridiculous to say. I, mean, I don't think you will though. We've seen Doja and like that go off in the past, and even then, it doesn't really feel. Like, it feels like to me, Fnatic could have three guys that go ham. And just fucking crush these guys because they're not going to respect them at all, Fnatic. Like, do we do Gambit actually have the depth there to to have like even two guys that can go toe to toe with Fnatic? I don't really see it. Adrian for sure because he's just been like the most consistent player it seems for that team by far. And then you have like Hooch who has the odd map, odd strong map. Mo that has yeah. the odd strong map, but like it's odd. It's not consistent. It's not like map after map these guys are grinding. So, so you're going two zero. I'm going two zero for Fnatic. Yeah, yeah I think this is a two zero. Same for me. 
I guess that pretty much uh, concludes the video. So thank you for watching, guys, and subscribe to the channel and all the rest of it. And we'll see you tomorrow.